favourite gear, which is second gear. <laughs> the pops are crazy. <laughs> going on welcome back to another video and in this video i've got chrissy's lovely stage 2 m140i mapped by litchfield let's get straight into the video Yes, Chris, what is going on, mate? Uh, how you how doing? You doing? You all right? Yeah, all good, finally. So, guys, those of you that don't know, this is Chris with his lo lovely Stage 2 M140i. It's mapped by Litchfield as well. I'll put all his Instagram in anyway. But, guys, we were trying to get this video for quite a while, we were, weren't yeah. we? And obviously, <laughs> loads of circumstances, myself, yourself, and we just couldn't get it done. But finally, today's the day, and what a great day to get it done. Nice dry weather for us to put this power down. So, so what map is this running again? It's got a Litchfield Stage 2. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 450 horsepower, 460 Newton meters of torque. Wow, wow. And that just puts it down. You don't, for that, just, just before I forget, you haven't got a decat, have you? No, no. So, this is just a running a stock, cat, stock yeah. cat, and it's Obviously, it's literally they don't mess around, do they? They're not yeah. just chasing so his it's power. Been, uh, it's been dyno mapped. Yeah. So they, they, it's a custom map for the car. Wicked, wicked, wicked. So started at the front. Yep. So uh, we've got a Maxton, uh, Maxton front splitter, mm -hmm. um, carbon canards, um, and the uh, uh, Dove Customs have wrapped the crash bars in lovely. white, just to give it a bit of definition. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So carbon fibre wing mirrors, just to give it a bit more. Uh, Definition again. Definitely, because that's what we were talking earlier. Because obviously mine's black and yours is obviously is it sapphire blue? I want to say uh, estrable. Blue. Estrable. Everyone's yeah. going to shoot me down. All the VMO is <laughs> like, what's he talking about? But yeah, like literally, it just breaks up the blue nicely and it stands out a lot more on yeah. the on a car yeah. with colour like this. And then obviously you've got your Motec sticker there because yeah. this is a Motec edition number number thirty-four. Number 34. So this is one one of the original like the first ones that were done the top thirty. So yep. you've definitely made it there. Um, you got the side skirt as well. Side if we carry on around the car. Max and side skirts. Lovely. Lovely, lovely breaks up the blue and in terms of these these wheels here because yeah. for me I could be wrong but they look really big to be front wheels are these what, what's the so the fronts are 245 yep. 18 so they're the rear wheels that would normally go on a okay so these are my rear wheels yep. on the front of your car yep. all right and, and the rears the rears are still 18s but they're 255s okay so grip power is just is well yeah, put it's, down it's a bit more uh, positive on the front i end. can imagine i can imagine definitely it's about, about a bit more. definitely <laughs> definitely and round the rear yep so again maxton rear uh v2 sides uh maxton diffuser and mm -hmm. then an ssd motorsports uh rear carbon spoiler yeah that does because i've got just the normal one they call it the ebay jobby but yours you can tell straight away it looks a lot more aggressive with the flicks and whatnot definitely a few more angles definitely definitely um you've got the remus um cat back is it cat back or yeah, it's a remus cat all back. the way back uh, remus cat back and then it's got the unsilenced uh, remus <laughs> M performance fully in, in carbon uh, interior. Mm -hmm. uh, so the M performance dash trim door handles. It really, really does do like good jobs on the interior. I think 100% with the steering wheel as well. That's and um, steering wheels, uh, roll steering wheels from Jack. Yeah. Oh, wicked, wicked. 100% yeah, flat, flat, flat bottom as well. Bilstein adaptive B6 dampers. All oh, right. Uh, so they still work on the adaptive button. Yep. Um, comfort mode just feels normal. Sports uh, mode. Sports mode really firms up. Good. 
good, good, good. And we'll definitely be we'll testing that in the drive. And um, this. And the, oh, yeah, yes. This. Oh, yes. We can't, like, those <laughs> of you guys that actually own an M140, like myself, and obviously Chris here, if you have a car without a diff, and you have one with a diff, how much of a difference does it make? Massive. Massive, yeah, massive. difference. So you recommend that to be anyone chasing power, the yeah, diff should yeah, definitely absolutely. be included. Yeah. It you've got move. A, it just sits. It, sits it does. Goes. It does. It does. Um, Underbody brace. It's got the uh, Motec Stance Plus spring, so 30 Wicked. mil drop at the front, 25 mil at the back. So it's just, it's just not track spec, but it's the, it's the, it's going to give you the best sort yeah. of way to hold that power down, yeah, isn't it? It's not yeah. going to be a floaty or anything. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, yeah. Let's get straight into the video. So biggest question of them all: Why the M140i? Uh, I just wanted something a bit more practical than Lotuses and Caterhams, really. Yeah, because um, you've you've got a few quite quite an array of cars haven't you yeah so i've had uh, mainly lotuses lotus mm -hmm. and aegis uh caterhams and things like that but needed something that's that had rear seats um well rear doors sorry yep um for the kids and things and i quite like something understated as well yeah this um, is it they're like a wolf in the skies aren't they yeah. i think with the m140 is a stock you can't unless you know your cars you just think oh yeah there's a yeah. little hatchback without knowing it's got the engine that's made in the super now yeah <laughs> i had a 1m but i mean okay. the, 1M, the 1m was good but yeah. it was um it only made 450 of them and then it yeah kind of didn't really want to take it out and mm, mm. it would attract attention this and things this flies under the radar it a bit does more. it does not sure now <laughs> with all well, what you've done yeah, yeah. <laughs> And you had the RS as well, didn't you? Yeah, Focus RS, uh, Mount Tune M400. Wow. Um, and how did that feel in comparison to this? Because that's obviously four wheel drive, isn't it? Yeah. And slow. that felt slower, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's the box. It? Yeah. So the, the eight speed box is quick. Yeah. Um, this has got more torque, more power. Of course, yeah. Um, the RS is better handling, mm -hmm. um, but the power down better, and you could be a bit more hand fisted with it. But yeah. to be honest, uh, you know, it was. Um, it was on it all the time whereas this you can like we are now comfort mode yeah it was quite yeah this this does comfort and it does crazy when you want yeah, to yeah 100 percent. and since having it you you had it from obviously from new and did yeah. you have the lsd and all of that from new or no no so the motec i had the motec kit um, mm -hmm. from new um, and that's just the springs wasn't it yeah, yeah mainly so it's, it's the springs the maxim kit um the Remus exhaust, mm -hmm. um, the steering wheel, the mm -hmm. blue starts button, all the stuff that Moto do. Yep. Uh, got it through Tony Lewis TRL deals. Wicked. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so that was it really. And then I put the wheels on myself, um, got that on delivery. Mm -hmm. um, and then yeah, just I ran it in, and then it was the diff power. Uh, dampers and things afterwards. Uh, okay, so you've done the diff first before the power? No, so I did stage one first okay. and then realised that it needed needed the diff massively. At stage one? At stage one, So yeah. stage one was Litchfield as well? Or? Yes, yeah, okay. stage one Litchfield. And, and then, do you remember the numbers you are putting out for that? Uh, yeah, it was it was slightly down on where it should have been. Mm -hmm. uh, it was 420 or okay. 419 horsepower. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't remember the torque, but it was good. I mean, it was quick. Yeah. Um, but, but then when they, but they did the mid pipes and uh, mapped it again they got 450 out of it so wow. um, as i was saying <laughs> it's oh comfort, my days mode. comfort mode yeah let's put it, put it in eco pro so now we get ready to get like some hate mail and whatnot through the letterbox <laughs> what are the weaknesses with this car what is it you don't like about it um <laughs> Now, probably not very much, if yeah, I'm honest. Yeah. In stock form, yeah. the suspension's a yes. bit. Um, I agree. You know, it's, it's not an M car, you know. I'm not, yeah. I'm not trying to make this an M car. <laughs> oh, yeah. So it's not an M car. I've had an M car, yeah. and they do things really well mm -hmm. that this they, they struggles with. Yeah. Um, but, you know, they're, they're a harsher ride, mm -hmm. they're more noisy. Yeah. They don't do the comfort bit if you want that, if that's important for you. Yeah. Um, I mean, fuel economy, if people are worried about that. Um, yeah. This does, I've had over 40 miles to the gallon in this. Yes, yes. And it's likewise. not the point of the car, but exactly. when you want it to be, you, you know, can. You point. can do both, can't it? Um, but yeah, stock form, I'd say probably probably the, the suspension and then maybe some of the visuals as well. I mean, it's a, it's a, I like the car, it looks good. But yeah. It needs it, it needs, needs something else other yeah, than just yeah. a ferret grey, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, the spoilers make a big difference mm. in these. 100%. Uh, splitters make a big difference, they're not big money, and it's. Um, you know, it makes it stand out a lot more. Hundred yeah. percent. What would you change? What would be like your next change to the car? 
Uh, well, I guess uh, scientist. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, maybe maybe a sports scan um, okay. and a remap mm -hmm. um, to get that all, all um, dialed in. Mm -hmm. it, does it need more power? Probably not. Yeah. Um, I don't know really. I think I think I'm probably pretty much done with it now. It's, really. Um, it's where you want it. It's and where it I does, want it. It does everything you need. It does, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's a great car. Mm -hmm. I'm, I will struggle to replace this if I'm honest. It's, yeah. You know. This is that that, that rings us. <laughs> There's a little bit of problem. Is that like three point two percent throttle? I'm saying the next question, which is probably gonna, it's a, it's a tricky. <laughs> My head. <laughs> When I see these cyclists, I'm like, yes, <laughs> he's going to slow down, yes. What is he doing? He's oh, giving it a bit of the old Bradley Wiggins, excuse <laughs> me. <here. laughs> the Bradley Wiggle. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> right, so final question before we swap over. Um, £50,000, yep. someone's offered it to you, Took the car. you've sold the car, what would be your next car? Uh, well, either if I had to sell it, um, probably go electric car, something okay. like a Tesla, just because right. of the, the torque. Yeah. Um, I think they'll. They are crazy torque, they're, aren't they? They're, they're, yeah, they are. They're good yeah. Fun. Um, if I was allowed to keep this, I'd probably get a little Caterham or a Lotus again. Yeah, I've um, seen a lot of them on track Caterhams. They're just ready. Yeah, you know, it's, it depends what you want from a car. I mean, this is say as a road car now, it's mm. perfect. It does everything I want it to do: comfort, practicality. Um, performance, everything. I just, just, I can't really fault it now. Mm. Um, even fuel economy, if that's yeah, if that's high on someone's agenda. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably where I'd be. So yeah, either Caterham Lotus and keep this, or something with some crazy torque. So um, not not an M4, M3. No, I think. They, or an M2. That's the normal yeah, progression for people, right? No, but no, no, probably not. Because what would the M2 give me? It would give mm. me a bit more handling, maybe on the road. Do I need that? Not really. Yeah. Um, so for my where I am in the, my stage of life, you know, I don't really need. Don't you need enough. that? You know. So yeah, this 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 is. I could have got an M2 to be honest when I looked at this. But yeah. Didn't didn't see the need. I wanted I wanted I wanted something that could do the comfort, but something I could make my own as well. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. This feels so planted. <laughs> it feels so planted. Bumpy roads and whatnot. <laughs> I know these roads as well, so it's like for me, I, I drive these roads nearly every other week. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the problem with the uh, the standard dampers is that they're just they're a little bit crashy. Yes, it doesn't feel very. It feels very all over the place. Yeah, but this just feels very like hunkered down, very planted. I think the dampers helps you help with the handling. The dip yeah. helps put the power down. That's so it's it. a nice combination between the two. And you've done quite a bit as well. So for someone like me, I wouldn't know what is actually making the difference yeah. there's so much so I think it's the package you've got I think yeah is what's gonna really like instill that confidence yeah in I think when you put the power down more you'll be that the dip, you'll when the dip comes in yeah but you know you run along these roads the dampers that make the big difference yeah 100 percent yeah let's just wind the window down a tad let's get it into my favorite gear which is second gear <laughs> the pops are crazy <laughs> That is addictive. That is addictive. I think I've left my card in my car so in case the fuel runs out. But uh, coincidentally, <laughs> have you been a passenger in your car before? Nope. <laughs> it's a first time for everything. Oh yeah, this feels planted. This feels very planted. Wow. Wow. I'm literally holding the steering wheel so tight. We've got the hand sanitizer anyway, guys. Yeah, it's we all have, about yeah. being hygienic, yeah. guys, obviously, because there's going to be a lot of sweat on this steering wheel. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> yes, I know what you mean now. Yeah. Because on mine, I've done, I do that stretch of road quite a bit, and on mine, there's a lot of squiggle once you floor yeah. it, because that was a gear two kick, and it there's a, normally a lot of squiggle. The sits down. It, it, it just went, yeah. And even around the bends, it just feels more direct. Yeah, because around here it normally gives me a bit of slide. Makes you sound like you're driving a real... Wow! <laughs> okay! Okay! That was the diff. Yeah. That literally <laughs> forced me round the corner in the <laughs> nicest way possible. It was like, you want to go around there? Let's go around there together. 
But with the open diff, I think it's more like, oh, you want to go around there? Should we go around there? How are we going to go around there? Is it the left tire that needs to help us around there? Is it the right? But that, that floor in that round, that bend there, it just was like, we're around the corner. There you go. That's what you wanted. Have it. Just giving you the power on, yeah, on each wheel where that, you wanted to be. That was good. Let's just give it a bit through here. Wow. It's just, it's just, it's just never ending, isn't it? Yeah, it just And it's not like up. crazy, like throw you in the back of your seat. It's just like the power's here and we're going to give it to you Smooth. all the way through, <laughs> yeah. Smooth, baby. That's it. Hats off. Hats off to Litchfield, 100%. Yeah, just that there. <laughs> doesn't give up, does it? It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. But this and the sound as well. Let's just get some sounds for you guys or donor. Scare this this fella over here. This one, uh, this lady. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, love. Like here, I'm always like breaking a bit. So I know it's a left, right, but this I can just let it roll because I know that the suspension's just gonna hold me in that position. Yeah. But mine's a bit like bump, 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 and then your 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 the front end's just bouncing all over the place. But here, it's like I feel all the roads, just, all the wheels rather, are just always. It just feels a bit. I go, I sort of taut and um, yes. hunkered down. Yes, exactly. It feels solid, like it just feels stable. Yeah. Like not gonna like people can get in the comments, get ready for it. I know they're gonna come in, but it does feel four wheel drive to a degree in terms of plant how planted it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Compared to an open diff stage one, stage two, which I've been yeah. out in, it feels very four wheel drive in that yeah. sense. It doesn't doesn't yeah. make I, I don't feel like I'm driving a rear wheel drive car until I plant it mid corner and I feel the push is coming from there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can you can feel it's rear wheel drive when you really push it. Yes, so, I can imagine. Um, yeah. But just giving it like 50 to 60, like it's, it's the confidence though in the this car. Is isn't it? It? This is it. This is stability. This is it. Wow, that diff really works, doesn't it? Yeah. It really <laughs> gets to work on the bends. I think that's what people always say. When you're pushing it through these roads, that's when you really feel the diff. <laughs> yeah. Yep. This does it easily. This puts the power through easily. <laughs> it's like I'm driving a go kart. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that is crazy. Picks up, doesn't it? Yes, <laughs> it definitely does. Oh, mate. <laughs> My car is boring now. I literally don't want to drive it home. <laughs> Driving home in an eco promo is like there's no point. That's not that's not real sports mode. Oh, that exhaust. Oh, I heard that one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I gave that 90% there because I knew we had a little straight. It feels, mate. It just. <laughs> yeah, you got to take this on track. Wow. <laughs> wow, it just puts it down so well. <laughs> wow, yes, 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 this is naughty. <laughs> it is very naughty. One more go. <laughs> Be all day. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I can't breathe. I can't <laughs> breathe. It just feels like it's just not going to catch you out. Yeah. Like it's... literally, I was probably, I was full throttle when I backed off a tiny bit. On mine, I'm backing off and pressing the brake. I yeah. didn't have to press the brake at all there because the car was just going up and down. Yeah. On mine, it's a bit like whoop, whoop, yeah. whoop, whoop, and you're grabbing all parts of the steering wheel. Power's nothing without control. Yes, exactly <laughs> right. Exactly right. Literally. <laughs> oh, mate. If you, I say, if you stuff stuff it in comfort mode and mm -hmm. then and then and then start a little kick down. Yeah, do yeah. You see what I mean with the? But I think you feel it more. I think you feel the, the diff more. If I'm honest, if you get, get it straight, mm -hmm. you're not dealing with the corner. And then yeah. You see what I mean? Let's go now. Oh yeah. So wow, know. wow, comfort mode. Yeah. <laughs> comfort mode feels rapid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. Why does comfort mode feel so rapid? Because 
Yeah, because he's got the full power. And it's because it's all the traction's on as well, so yeah. it's not gonna. It's just gonna hook up. Yeah. That's because obviously when you put it in Sports Plus, now it makes sense. Yeah. I'm asking for a bit of slip. Yeah. So I'm asking for less power, even though I'm asking yeah. for a more responsive car. Yeah. But with Convert, it's saying we'll give you all the possible grip possible. That felt yeah. like 450 brake <laughs> horsepower. 100. percent But yeah, Chris, mate. Big guys. <laughs> those of you that are not following Chris, make sure you give him a like on Instagram. Follow him, whatnot, guys. Is so much more to come on the channel like Chris is obviously going to try and get him down to another track day you've done track days in these cars as he's mentioned yeah. but this guys I'm telling you if we can get both of our cars on track it's going to be such a great day out mate yeah such definitely. a great day out <laughs> but yeah guys thanks for watching if you've enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up like subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next one take Cheers. care <laughs>